Hello, I know it's been a long time, but I've actually had, you know, quite a bit going on in my life, uh, you know, quite a bit, quite a few changes going on, and uh, for one, I changed schools, so I'm no longer working at Western International, uh, I'm now working at Zaman International, which I can actually see the school from, from my roof over there, I believe you could see it right over there, yeah, that's where I go every day, so it's only like a five-minute walk for me and yeah it's a I mean it's a pretty good school like really professional they uh, you know they're they do everything according to uh, you know Cambridge sort of curriculum with uh, with you know in regards to English it's a very international school there's no you know competition between teachers or anything like that so you know it's a pretty pretty good place to work. I, I have my own desk and stuff, which is a change, so it's really nice. Uh, classrooms have interactive whiteboards and everything. I'm not allowed to film inside the school, which is one reason why I'm filming uh, filming here, but uh, I'm not actually uh, making this video to talk about the school. Uh, this video is actually more about schools in general in Cambodia, because I, I get a lot of questions about how schools operate here, and you know what to look out for you know what kind of scams there are and I think it it's not so much a scam it's just you know not really uh, uh, honorable but there are quite a few schools in uh, Cambodia I'm not gonna mention any names you know who you are and if you're a teacher you you know who they are but um, a lot of these schools aren't really schools they're more businesses more companies so they're not really focused on quality of education or focused on you know experiences that the students you know have unless those experiences make money and then they're all about those experiences but you can usually tell these schools and you can tell if you're working at a school like that by one finding out who the owner of the school is and then seeing what other types of businesses that owner runs or owns so if you look at the owner of your school and that owner is you know also the owner of a bunch of movie theaters and grocery stores and nightclubs and stuff like this then there is a good chance that you do not work for a school you work for a company and they view the students as customers. So they don't care how many customers they get in the class, just as long as they get customers. And a lot of times these schools are gonna be really cheap too, like dirt cheap, like maybe $2,000 a year or something, which is cheap, you know, here. But if you look at the owner of your school or you know whoever owns your school and you see what other businesses they own and they own a bunch of other schools and that's you know the main thing that they own are schools like they own universities and then other branches and you know maybe branches overseas and stuff then chances are you work for an actual school if they're actually seeking accreditation then it's an actual school like Zalman the school I, I just started at they're actually in the process of gaining a uh, CIS accreditation which is an internationally recognized accreditation so that tells me I'm working at an actual school when they're actually focused on the quality of education and you know trying to see if you know you're teaching correct way you're staying on curriculum stuff like this then it's an actual school if you're going in the class just doing whatever you want and no one really pays attention to you and until it comes time for you know evaluations or whatever then you work at a company they're doing the evaluations solely for the purpose of saying they did the evaluations when you could pretty much do anything you want at the school and you don't get fired you're working at a company not a school right now I can happily say that I definitely work at a school and I'm very proud to work there I'm very happy working there and for the students at uh, Western International that, that I've left, I 
am in no way against the students. I have nothing but fond memories of, of most of the students at the school. And, you know, I, I do miss a lot of my students there, and I'll, I'll miss them forever, of course. But, you know, I also have to do what's right for me, and I, ha I have to move on, and I have to, you know, grow professionally and be able to, you know, teach in an environment that is, you know, conducive to me growing, an environment that, that helps me grow rather than uh, keeps me down, keeps me from growing. So, yeah, that, that's my advice when it comes to finding a school that, you know, is actually a quality school, a real school. Just look at what they're doing. I mean, actions speak louder than words. They might say, you know, they're internationally recognized or whatever, but if, if you, like, only find that, you know, publicly, that's only on their signs and stuff, but you don't see anything like that inside, then my advice is to get out of the schools qu as quickly as possible. Like, go find a school. You know, go to the forums. You'll you'll hear good things. And also, these the schools that are good, they also pay a living a living wage, a living salary. Like, you actually make decent money. So, yeah, I mean, you you can. You know, just use common sense and you'll be able to find out who you're working for and you won't have to deal with things like you know I've dealt with and like other teachers have dealt with you know I mean if you're go if you're here to teach then be teach at an actual school I've chosen to do that and uh, choose the same thing don't just choose a paycheck and drinking money and you'll you'll do okay All right so other than that I will see you later. I will make another video soon, I promise. All right. See you later. It's crazy how everyone lives up.